Okay, guys, we're out here uh, with uh, range test number two on the uh, 1911 and uh, 762 by 25. We've uh, changed out the recoil spring to a 12 pound spring, and uh, we're going to see if that uh, gets us any better uh, reliability on the cycling. <coughs> Well, it uh, didn't really change anything on the cycling. Uh, it did uh, go ahead and give us full stroke back and was always locking the hammer back in the firing position. So uh, our next step is going to be to uh, adjust our ammo load a little bit and uh, bump that up and uh, see if we can find a happy medium. Anyway, I hope you guys find this interesting. Uh, we'll uh, go over here and show you the target and uh, let you see how it's shot at least. Well, there's our target for the day. So uh, it's, it's shooting okay. Um, that's a uh, six inch uh, target, so uh, grouping pretty good. Uh, anyway, hope you find this interesting. We'll uh, talk to you later and uh, have a good day. Uh, we'll uh, get back to you with uh, range test number three after we've done some ammo adjustments. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, uh, Dr. Uptown here. Welcome back to the ranch. Hey, uh, we just got back from uh, range test number three on the uh, 1911 and uh, 762 by 25. Um, give you a little background. What we did on uh, range test number two was we just simply changed the recoil spring to that lighter 12 pound recoil spring and uh, to see what that did for us. And uh, as you saw, it uh, really didn't change much. What I did get is I did get a little bit more rearward travel on the slide. I was locking the hammer back uh, with every round. It just still wasn't enough to eject the round out. <clears throat> so we uh, Came back, uh, came back to the ranch and uh, got the uh, reloading equipment out. Uh, bumped our uh, our load up on our uh, on our rounds to 6.9 grains. Um, uh, if you uh, if you remember uh, the original round, uh, measured out at uh, 1.32 inches, and uh, we shortened that down to 1.28 and uh, reduce the uh, load from 8.6 grains down to 6 and uh, that 6 grains just didn't have enough power so uh, we boosted that up to uh, 6.9 grains with this lighter spring and uh, got much better results uh, following this you'll uh, be able to watch range test number three and uh, see how it did um, did want to welcome uh, all the new subscribers. I've got uh, quite a few lately. I had a couple shout outs, one from uh, the Armory Channel and uh, one from the Armory Guild. Uh, you know, you guys, uh, you guys know how they are. They're great channels to watch. I uh, really appreciate the shout outs from them. Um, and uh, we'll uh, keep trying to uh, give you guys some interesting videos to watch. We do have uh, some stuff coming up here pretty quick. I've got another gun that should be in this next week. Uh, another handgun on the way. Uh, should be in this next week, uh, and I'm uh, I'm a little anxious about it because uh, what I think I ordered and what I'm going to get I don't know are going to be the same thing or not. Uh, the uh, reasoning behind that is is uh, 
the uh, gun I ordered uh, showed up at the distributor a while back and I missed out on it and supposedly they had received those by accident and we're not going to get any more but I uh, went ahead and put an order in for one and they told me it'd be about a week or two well it was about a month and uh, they just called me up last week and uh, said they had gotten some in and uh, did I was I still interested and I told them I sure certainly was so uh, Anyway, uh, some of the people who uh, stay in contact with that distributor had called them back after I said that I had mine ordered, and uh, one of the other people there said that, no, they weren't getting any more of those, that uh, they had gotten those by accident, and, and uh, they weren't going to get any more of them. So uh, I'm a little anxious to see what actually shows up and whether it's the right gun or not. Uh, if it is, uh, I'm going to certainly have a video out on it as quick as I can make it. If it's uh, not, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I guess I'll see what shows up and uh, figure out from there. But uh, I'll keep you guys up to date on it, but I'm pretty excited about it. I really do hope that uh, what I ordered is uh, what shows up. Uh, anyway, that's about all i got for you right now. Go ahead and uh, enjoy range test number three. Uh, we'll talk to you later. You yeah, guys have a good day. Bye. All right, guys, we're out uh, on... Uh Range test number three, uh, we upped the powder load to 6.9 grains and uh, we'll see how that shoots. Yeah, it's shooting all right. We uh, had one bad round, didn't go off. That's the way it goes. Oh, yeah, you'll get one one time. And there's your target. I uh, hope you guys find this interesting. We'll talk to you later. Have a good day.